What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Hertzik coming at you with another Q&A video. All right, here we go. Yes, indeed. Um, Andy Garcia asks, why do you hate the term subscribers? It's a great question, Andy. Um, this is going to get a little deep, so follow me if you can. Uh, well, not follow me if you can, follow me if you will. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that term. I'm going to be honest with you. It sounds cheap. It sounds indifferent. It sounds to me like when people say the word subscribers, they just look at them like a number, and that's all it really is. You know, if you look at you look at subscription uh, companies like magazine companies or uh, websites or whatever, it's about getting those subscribers to boost your numbers and boost your income, right? So. But do you really care about those people? Like, does Sports Illustrated really care about Joe Schmo? I don't think so. I don't think they really do. Um, because in their minds, they can be replaced just as easily. So whenever someone quits uh, or cancels their subscription to Sports Illustrated, Sports Illustrated really doesn't care. Because by the time that person has you know, submitted to the website or through mail or whatever, that they're, they're unsubscribing, they've already got five new subscribers. So they really don't care a whole lot. Um, same thing with websites and other subscription-based services. Now, I am not a big fan of that term because I actually do care. I, I do care about the people who are a part of the fan base. I do care about each and every person who does join the channel. You guys are not just numbers to me. You're a part of this community, in my opinion. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, you're full of it, and we don't really believe you. And like, I said, like I've always said, people are going to be entitled to their opinions. If they don't want to believe me, they don't have to. I'm not going to sit there and try to convince them that I'm being I'm being sincere here. You guys really do matter to me because you guys are the ones who are making this channel work. And I recognize that. I'm not like a lot of other YouTubers out there who it's, it's all about me, 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 and I'm the star, and nobody else matters because... And this goes back to bands who have that attitude towards their fan base. And that just upsets me because these bands do not realize or they have forgotten more, more often than not. They have forgotten because they become famous and they become successful that it's those fans, the members of their fan base who made them famous, That's who the truth. got them to that point that pinnacle and a lot of bands lose sight of that and they start to disrespect their, their fans and they don't care what their fans think and the cans and, and the fans don't mean anything to them that to me is a huge huge problem it is disrespectful to the fans who put you there and it's also disrespectful to yourself because you're allowing yourself to become that arrogant and that that foolhardy and that for lack of a better word, that's stupid that you're going to basically cause your own downfall. I never want to let that happen to me. I never want to let that be, I, don't, I never want to become like that. So, yeah, I, I don't like that word. I, I, I really don't. Subscribers feel cheap. It feels uh, disrespectful. And, and to me personally, it makes, like, if, I, if people tell me, tell me that I'm a subscriber, I feel... I, I feel insignificant, and I don't want to ever have anybody on this channel feel that way. That would be, if I ever hear that people on the channel feel that way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really be upset. Not with them, but with myself for allowing that to happen and have that kind of disconnection. That's why I read every single comment. I don't necessarily respond in, in, with words because I, I seriously spend about two out, two to three hours a day on comments. So. Uh, I don't always respond with words, but I will give it that heart. And if you guys get a heart next to your comment, that lets you know that I actually read it. So there you go. Uh, hopefully that answers your question, Andy. I, I really do because it is a, it's an important point with me. As I, I don't, I don't want anybody to feel insignificant. 
I don't want anybody to feel like they, they aren't important because believe me when I say this, every single member of the fan base matters to me. Every single member of the fan base is important to me. And it's you guys, not me, it's you guys that make this channel run. It is you guys that make this community that we have created together as cool as it is. And it's you guys that keep me going and keep out and keep putting out the content. So hopefully that answers your question, Andy.